Yo, what is up guys? Today's favorite average gamer here. Let's hope my mic isn't peaking. It is not anymore. Woo! I need energy in my voice. Uh, what is up guys? Um, by the time you're seeing this, the day before, will I will have given my announcement on the fact that school is starting. So I'm going with this content. I do it weekly. I guess I'll do it you know, every Monday, when this is video coming out, and this video is coming out, listen, me am not intelligent, you know this, um, yeah, uh, let's just slide into this, well, first, uh, uh first I should say, um, reading off of a script here, um, just Cause 3, this is a review on that game. First up is the gameplay. To be honest, it's quite repetitive, but it's very fun. Simple, but fun. So if you're looking for an intellectual experience, you certainly came to the wrong place. But don't let that deter you from this game. It's really fun, all things aside. The gameplay revolves around you, Yes, you, sweaty, ugly bastard in your gamer chair, snorting G Fuel in your moldy testes for substance. Um, that's only if you haven't subscribed, by the way. So, like, subscribe, come. Oh, what? Um, you roleplay as an American in the 1950s, so you kill anything that looks vaguely red. Namely, fuel containers, radars, and overall dictatorish propaganda. Damn. <laughs> when was this made? Um, you can destroy items with these 18 different weapons. Whether it be rifles, handguns, shotgun, light machine guns, rocket launchers, handheld mortars, min and mini nuclear not launcher missile thing. I can't word. A lightning gun. Attack helicopters, planes, tanks, a nearly invincible tank with an energy shield. A helicopter that has an energy shield that moves very quickly and is armed to the tits. You got a lot of stuff there. That's a lot of stuff. Like 18 stuff. Wait, no! <laughs> Don't age restrict this video, YouTube. Um, that's a lot of stuff, though. I don't know where I... It's a while ago. I wrote the script a while ago. 18th of February at that. <laughs> um, so needless to say, you have a wide variety of ways to turn your enemies' innards into outards and retards into cadavers. Ah, uh, did I mention the grapple, wingsuit, and parachute? Well, the grapple can be used to tether things together, as well as pulling yourself towards things, whether it be a wall, a vehicle, the skull of an unfortunate soul whose life you are about to extinguish. The parachute allows you to avoid fall damage, duh, by slowly moving through the air at the speed of smell. Um, you can also use it as a way to rain death from a from above. <laughs> I don't know why I started there. While your enemies hopelessly look at you in terror and pray to Jesus Buddha Christ Chan. Chuck Norris, Sako, whatever people pray to these days. Um, Kung Soup is a very good anime. I love Kung Soup. That's a joke. Um, the wingsuit is used to glide around the sky. There's an upgraded one in one of the DLCs, uh, the, the, the sky one, <laughs> that gives you jet propulsion, L a lock-on or dump fire missile launcher, and a minigun, and a uh, minigun, considering it's a minigun, it's useless, it's not even that fast of a fire rate, it's inaccurate, as soon as you go away than ten, further than 10 meters. And you're using a wingsuit. This thing's supposed to turn you into a meat jet. The spread, bro. It spreads in more than your mom less. <laughs> um, yeah. 
overall wide variety of ways from get to point A to point B to point C to point B's nuts. Uh, uh, yeah, ways to get around, pros, cons, such as vehicles being fast but more difficult to get, not to mention land and sea vehicles are pretty much inferior in almost every way to air vehicle. Oh wait, sorry, my script says eight vehicles. A-I-T. Uh, <laughs> but hey, guess that's just me. Uh, moving on, foot leaves you slower, less heavily armed, and game isn't incredibly difficult, I should add that. Which brings me nicely to my next point, difficulty. This game is not much of a challenge at all. Any problem could be solved by just throwing yourself at it enough times, as there's no real consequence to dying, other than maybe getting set back a bit. This also gives me time to talk about missions, which aren't difficult so much as they are tedious. Like one of the missions that I found very frustrating, when you're locked underground into a small area, uh, which is fine on its own, nice gameplay spiciness. The frustrating part is I kept running out of ammo. When I died, it wouldn't restock my ammo. It, that was frustrating. But hey, devs on like a eight year old game. Listen to some random 50 subscriber idiot talk about this. Definitely posting this on the subreddit though. So if you're from there, subscribe. You get fat team, bam. Shoots up three inches, bam. And if you ain't subscribed, then. Uh, I know where you live. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm in your walls. <laughs> anyway, but that's only if you're not subscribed. So subscribe. Whatever that means. <laughs> the story is not very deep. Uh, it's to be expected, base. You basically play as Rico Rodriguez. Dictator removal specialist, as um, I'm sure you As... I'm sure you predicted, our goal in the game is to dethrone an evil dictator. Big shocker, I know. The DLCs are most of the same repetitive fun. You have the Bavarian Sea Heist, which takes place almost exclusively on sea. Sea Heist. Where you play as a sea man, and your buddies, which makes you sea men. Oh, wait. No! <laughs> I don't know. Dirty jokes aside, you fight Evil Science Corporation, generic man, generic Evil Science Corporation, sorry, number 69 in, um, it's called Eden, but the E is the lowercase in the first letter, but D is big, like mine. Um, so they went bust, and they were working on, in, on this weird lightning gun in their own sea lab, sea, sea lab. Um, and yeah, you get this gun called the Eden Spark, um, which you must steal, you and your seamen and one woman. Um, you go out and you steal it, uh, as well as Bava Bavarium, 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 whatever the hell it's called, uh, super material. Um, you get access to the Luchador. A jet-propelled boat with lock-on missiles and the Eden Spark, as I said earlier, you wield the power of a fluffy blanket during winter with said zap zappity gun. Nips beware. <laughs> Does anyone notice that in winter when, like, you're just chilling? I suppose none of you own, like, onesies or whatever, but I think they're comfortable. Um, your, your nips, they just get lit up like a child in Afghanistan. Um, he just admitted he was gay. Um, the next DLC is the Sky Fortress. Takes place in a, get this, Sky Fortress. An airship, if you will. So, you and your fr you know our friends at the Eden Corporation. Well, they made an AI that needs Bavarium, the game's super material, to live. 
So it plans to rip this mineral out of the ground to destroy, destroying Medici, the game's city, in the process. Oh, not city. This, the game's, the game's area, the island, the country, if you will. Uh, this DLC gives you access to the OP Bava Bavarium wingsuit and the drone. No one cares about the drone. Um, the final DLC is Mech Land Assault, where you assault land with mechs. Okay, well, there's a bit more. Um, if you haven't noticed, they're all focused around water, air, and land. So that's a cool little detail. So, our lovely friends at Eden, lovely guys there, lovely bastards, um, decided to research on how to make mechs. They succeeded. And then you assault land. I'm just kidding. Um, unfortunately, the Black Hand, a mercenary, a mercenary organization <laughs> made of Australians, not black people, eh, I guess. Blackface and cancel Twitter. The power of Twitter attacks the black end. They're mostly Australian, I think. I don't know that. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, unfortunately, they um, decided to take over the island after Eden went bust and turn its prison, well, turn it into a prison, which holds rebels from all over the world. This DLC gives you Essex access to the Auto Cannon, Bavarium Splitter, and Reaper Missile Mech, as well as the Friendly Mech Drop, which absolutely no one in their right mind uses. Next is the Collectibles and Challenges, which give you access to many different upgrades, vehicles, and weapons. <coughs> there are eight different types of challenges, 112 in total, um, which make up 27 wingsuit courses, 18 land races, 4 scrapyard scrambles, which you tether a magnet to your vehicle and collect rocks and put them into a pit, uh, eight, 12 crash bombs, you commit ISISing and you strap a bomb to your car and then you go out last minute destroying military people, 5 shooting galleries, 27 Destruction Frenzies, 9 Sea Races, and 12 Air Races. That's a lot of races. <laughs> um, completing challenges gives you access to various upgrades. Whether it be Nitro on your vehicles, homing grenades, or more tethers. There are 5 types of collectibles making for a total of 54 vintage parts, 20, uh, not 20, 71 audio tapes, 49 rebel shrines, um, 10 rebel tombs, and 30 daredevil jumps, which make up 100, uh, 214 different collectibles. The vintage parts unlock vintage weapons and vehicles, or vehicle. Collect all the vintage parts of one of three regions in the game to unlock that region's vintage item. The three vintage items in said region um, are the Little Generals, a high-powered, fast-firing pair of revolvers, the U-24 Zabby Jack, a dual-wheeled pair of shotguns, so basically pre-patched models from MW2, and some random fighter I couldn't care less about. Or I could care less about. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Someone, someone will collect them in the comments, probably. Um, audio tapes give you insight on how the bad guy, the Ravello, came into power. And if you collect all the tapes, you get access to a golden variant of the best helicopter in the game. Nice. The Rebel Shrines give you free fast travel in, the, in a region, if you unlock all of them in said region. It's kind of pointless once you realize liberating all the provinces make that region's fast travel free. Um, yeah. Rebel Tunes unlock a handheld mortar. Cool, right? Well, no, because rocket launchers such as the Hydra, Fire Leech, or M488 do the job quicker, better, 
can be used inside and have a bigger explosive payload. Why would you use the mortar? It's so... Ugh, it sucks. It doesn't even explode good. Completing all daredevil jumps will give you a unique vehicle. A monster truck, I believe. Because I actually haven't done that many daredevil jumps. I don't... I haven't completed this game. Lastly, for those who don't know, Just Cause 3 is an open world game with a large amount of settlements, military outposts, and military bases that you can liberate. Uh, you can liberate any outpost at any stage of the game, although some military bases have special defenses such as EMPs, lock on Bavarian warheads, and one other thing. No. Um, they can be, those defenses can be shut down during storyline missions. Pretty smart way to actually prevent players from progressing too far too quick. Well, that's just cause 3. My entire review. Or... Probably about 18 minutes, or 17 minutes of it. Um, I give it an 8 out of 10. Solid game! Pros are the gameplay is fun with a variety of ways to commit horrific war crimes against humanity, acts of terror, and violations of the Geneva Suggestion. Cons are the game is pretty mindless and repetitive, so if you really think you're better than everyone else, I would skip this. Definitely pick it up. I, if I were you, it's still worth playing. It's a little over six years when it was released, has it been, wait, wait, let me just google that, um, It's a little over six years, it's about, about doing math real quick. Seven years. This game has been out for seven years. Seven years! The graphics still look good. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I went off on a little rant. Thank you all if you stick, stuck by for my about 18 minutes of nonsense. I appreciate it so much. Um, like, subscribe, dislike, it still helps the video do better. Share with your friends, please. Um, I should probably get a better mic. Uh, there we go. Tilt it to my direction, even though it's mono directional, whatever that means. I think it, 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 it has my voice appear equally in both ears, that's what I mean. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Have a fun day. Peace.